Hi everyone. Let's solve this question. This question is saying that implication with false is functionally complete. Okay. So basically this is set as okay. And in this set as we have implication operation and this false. False means zero. So this implication with the help of this constant zero. So remember this is your constant. So I can say this is your constant zero. Okay. So this implication operation with the, with the help of constant zero is functionally complete. So how can we prove it? So first you can apply the guidelines here. So this is your set. Okay. And in this set we have two functions. One is implication function. Another is constant zero function. So this is your this is your implication function. I can say this is the implication function and this is the constant zero function. Now you can notice that first of all minimize. Okay. Minimize every function. Minimize this. Minimize this. Already they are in the minimal form. So okay. So minimization is already over. So you don't have to minimize them. So you can notice the first guideline. I told you that minimize okay so minimize minimize every function minimize every function that is already over okay because this function is minimized this function is already in the minimal form now what is that the second what is the second point you can apply the guideline number two so you can notice if i replace every variable with zero if i replace every variable with zero then you can notice this is equal to one okay so you can notice if you if you replace every variable is zero then this function is not becoming zero Okay, this function is not becoming zero. So guideline number two does not apply. So you can notice that this guideline number two, okay, guideline number two does not apply. Does not apply. And I have, okay, remember uh, this guideline number, all the five guidelines to check, uh, to check whether a function is uh, functionally complete or to check whether a set is functionally complete or not. Some guidelines we have, okay, I, uh, I told you five guidelines. So if you have not seen that lecture, then you can find the link in the okay description. So in the description, you can find the link there. I have already discussed about the guidelines to check whether a set is functionally complete or not. So this is the second guideline. Basically, if you replace every variable by zero, then you can notice this function is not becoming zero. So I can say that this guideline number two does not apply. Similarly, guideline number three also does not apply because this is your set. Okay. This is your two, two functions you have. Okay. This is your function and this is your function. Now you can notice that if you replace every variable by one, this is becoming one. This function is becoming one, but this function is not becoming one. Okay. You can notice this function. I can say that I can, I can call it like this. This is your function F1. This is your function F1 and this is your function F2. So two functions we have, and you can notice that this function F1, this is becoming one. When you replace every variable by one, then this function F1 is becoming one, but this function F2 is not becoming, is not becoming one. So this guideline number three also does not apply and you can notice self dual. So this function is self dual. Uh, sorry, this function is not self dual. You can notice this F2 is not self dual because this F2 is zero. Okay. And self and what is the dual of this zero? The dual is this. So you can notice this F2 is not a self dual. So I can say this F2, this is not self dual. This is not self dual. Implication is also not a self dual. You can notice this is your implication and implication means a bar or B. And what is the dual? The dual will be a bar a, a bar b. You can notice this is not same as a bar or b. So I can say that this implication is not a self dual. Okay. So this so this guideline number four also does not apply. Now finally, what we can do? Now finally, we will try to create or operation. Okay. So this is our fun. Okay. This is our set. Remember, our set is this. In our set, we have uh, we have implication and we also have this constant zero. Now can we create? not okay so can we create this so this is the point from okay from this implication comma zero using these two can i create not can i create this a a a bar so let's check very simple that a implies zero a implies zero is a bar so you can notice this is your a bar so this is your a bar okay so you can create a bar with the help of implication comma zero so with the help of implication comma zero, we can create not operation very easily. So I can say that finally no, not operation we can create. Okay. Now we can, let's check it out. Can we create? So once we have not operation, so once we have not operation, now we can create or operation. Now we can create very easily or operation also we can create. What is that? So that will, that we will create like this. So what we can do, we can say that a implies b, m, a implies zero implies b. This is this is your a or b you can notice this is your a or this is a or b why this is a or b you can notice a implies zero implies b okay so what is this this is simply what is this actually okay this is a bar this is a bar 
implies b and this is nothing but a or b because we know that alpha implies beta this is same as alpha bar or beta okay so this we already know so i can say that this is a or b so this is how we can create our operation so remember so finally i can say that this is functionally complete okay so i can say that this is set if you if you see this implication operation with the help of this zero this is functionally complete this is functionally complete why this is functionally complete because implication with the help of zero i can create or operation or i can also create not operation okay so not operation or operation both of them i can create so that is the reason i can say that this this set is functionally complete but remember this set is functionally complete but this set is not functionally complete you can notice that this set just consider this set implication with the help of constant one this set is not functionally complete this set is not functionally complete how can we prove very easily you can prove that because okay you can notice we have two functions one is implication function and another function is constant one okay so this is implication and this is constant one function now you can apply the guideline number three if you replace every variable by one then you can notice this function is becoming one and this function is already one so you can notice that the guideline number three applies okay so the guideline three applies so because the guideline three applies so i can say that so this is set so i can say this is set so s is not functionally complete okay so remember so this is the final point that this set is not functionally complete but this set is functionally complete i can say that this implication with constant zero this is functionally complete but implication with constant one this is not functionally complete okay okay